Okay, guys, welcome. Today we're going to discuss some theorems on growing trees. Okay, so the first theorem that we're going to discuss is that every tree with at least two nodes has at least two nodes of degree one. Okay, and we won't prove this, we're just going to sort of state this as fact. Now, the idea behind growing a tree is that, of course, we're going to start with a single node, right? And we're going to repeat the following any number of times that you want. Okay, so if you have a graph G, we create a new node and connect it by a new edge to any node G, in G, I should say, right? Right. Now, the next theorem is that every graph obtained by the tree growing procedure is a tree, and every tree can be obtained this way, right? Now, we're going to sort of put this tree proof idea within a tree, right? Because if you want one node, that's it. You just have one node. If you want two nodes, what well, has to be connected, so you need to have an edge between the two of them, right? And this has no cycle, so that's the only possibility, right? They have to be connected, and there's no other way we could, we could sort of connect them. If you have three nodes, then you would connect either, say, the bottom node to the top two, or the top node would be connected to the bottom two, right? And those would be the only ways that we could do this. We could not connect these two, for example, because then you'd have a cycle, and the same for the other one. Then, of course, for four nodes, you could have any of these possibilities and so on and so forth. And you could obtain every tree by if you were to continue on in this way. Okay, now the next theorem is that every tree on n nodes has n minus one edges. And we're gonna prove this by induction. So the base case is, of course, if you start with one node, then there's zero edges, right? So we've proved it for the base case. Now we're gonna assume that n minus one nodes has n minus two edges. Now if we add a node, if you look at our tree growing procedure, if we create a new node, we have to connect it by new edge to any node in G, right? So then that means that adding a node also adds an edge. So we now have N nodes and N minus one edges. So that, that proves the proof there, okay? So every tree on N nodes has N minus one edges, okay? So now related to this idea, we wanna talk about how we can count trees, right? So in other words, we wanna answer the question, how many trees are there on N nodes? So in order to answer this, we need to determine when we have tre trees being different, right? Now, are these trees the same? You see that I put here, we have, well, yes and no, right? So they are the same and they're not the same, right? So what we really need to do is we need to clarify what do we mean by the same or different, right? Now, there's two possibilities for this. The first possibility is we fix the set of nodes and we consider two trees the same if the same pairs of nodes are connected in each. Right, now how do you tell this? You need to be able to name the nodes to distinguish them. All right, so usually we use zero through n minus one for n nodes, right? Which may be a little bit confusing, but in order to name one node node zero, we then only need to go to n minus one to have n of them. And we call this a labeled tree. Right, so of course in this example, we've labeled the nodes and we would then be able to tell are the, if we were handed another, another tree, is this the same as this one, right? Now, if we were to label these, right? So if this is one, two, three, four, five, and then the nodes have to be the same, of course, this would not be the same. Right, so in the labeled case, these would not be the same trees. Okay, now the other possibility is that we don't give names to the nodes and we consider the two trees the same if we can rearrange the nodes of one so that we get the other tree, right? And the idea here is that we consider two trees isomorphic if there exists a bijection from the nodes of one tree to the nodes of the second tree, 
right? Which means that the number of nodes would have to be the same in both. And we need this bijection to happen so that if any two nodes are in the first tree are connected, they're still connected in the bijection, right? And this would be, of course, the case for unlabeled trees, right? So if we go back to this example here, of course, if I were to switch these two nodes positions, I believe then we could, let's see. So I guess what would have, have to happen is that both of these nodes would have to be the same, right? Because they both have degree three. And then both of these would have to be the same. Wait, sorry, not that one, that one it would have to be. These two would have to be the same because they're connected to uh, the red one uh, but also have degree one, right? And then it looks like we could have that these two are the same. And let's see. Actually, I guess these are not connected. Oh, no, no, they are because my red one's down here. So then this one would be the same as this one. And then, of course, this one and this one would be the same. Right. So in the unlabeled case, these would be considered the same graphs. And of course, the use that we the word that we would use there is that they're isomorphic. OK, so now we can ask two questions. We can ask how many labeled trees are there on N nodes? And we can also ask how many unlabeled trees are there on N nodes? Now, if we've labeled them, there is a nice solution which is known as Cayley's theorem, right? Now the number of labeled trees on N nodes is N to the N minus two. And this is something that we're gonna prove later. All right, so that concludes this video on growing and counting trees. Um, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.